Hi, I'm Aaron Vaness with C3 Controls. In this video, we'll talk about the basics of a tower light, so let's get started. Tower lights are an important type of signal light used in various industries and processes. These lights are distinguished by their column-like structure of several independent lights stacked on top of each other. They are typically comprised of up to five different colored light segments, red, green, yellow, blue, and white, and oftentimes include a sound module. Due to their stacking orientation, purpose, and design, these lights are often referred to as indicator lights, signal tower lights, warning lights, stack lights, industrial signal lights, and tower lights. Nowadays, industrial machines are equipped with intuitive interfaces and advanced diagnostics that inform operators about the status of a machine or event. These features help the operator to take necessary action at the right time. However, they have limitations when it comes to their visibility at long distances. This is where tower lights help. As different light modules are stacked in towers and placed over the machine, they are visible from all directions, offering a 360 degree view, allowing the operator to check the status of the current process while away from the machine. In addition to their long distance visibility, tower lights also produce a strobe light signal or buzzer sound to alert personnel of machine status. Tower lights are an integral part of lean manufacturing and Five Sigma initiatives where they are commonly referred to as and-on lights. These lights are one of the most common forms of visual management for long distance, and they can be used in various configurations, such as colorful stack of and-on lights. These indicator lights are generally comprised of three lighting modules, green, yellow, and red. As with regular tower lights, the green symbolizes a normal working condition, yellow symbolizes a request for help, and red symbolizes production stop. The red light comes with an alarm. Sometimes these lights can be linked to automated systems so they can detect problems easily. Some of the most common features of tower lights are lighting modules, sound modules, and mounting. So let's take a minute to talk about each. Lighting modules come with a variety of colors with LED and incandescent lamps and are offered in three styles of illumination. The first is flashing. In this module, the light flashes continuously. The second is continuous. In this module, the light stays on continuously. This is the most common type. And the third is rotary. In this module, the light rotates, thereby seeking the attention of a user. Most often, the light is accompanied by a buzzer alarm. Tower lights may include one, two, or up to five light modules in a single stack. Sound modules may have monotonal, bitonal, or intermittent alarm patterns, which are normally 80 or 100 decibels. Mounting bases are typically available in three configurations, direct mount, wall mount, or pole mount. Tower lights are equipped with different colored lenses which indicate a typical state of the machine or process environment. For example, red indicates that a specific condition requires immediate attention. Green indicates that a machine is working as expected. Yellow indicates a warning that something is wrong with the machine. Blue indicates a request for service or that a machine is down for reasons other than mechanical failure. Clear or white indicates user function typical to machines or process environments. These colors are not restricted to the functions I mentioned, but rather are decided by the system designer in response to machine and operator requirements. Nowadays, tower lights are equipped with buzzers and are employed in various industrial environments because they can help capture the attention of an operator who is away from the visible area of the tower light. The flash rate can be fast or slow and may be controlled by a PLC. So how do you select and install a tower light? Selecting a tower light for a facility becomes easy when you have an in-depth understanding of the installation area. In many facilities, the tower lights are to be installed in areas where there may be heavy traffic due to mobile vehicles such as forklifts and bridge cranes or people. In such conditions, the tower light may not perform as expected. Therefore, it becomes important to consider several factors, such as choice of area, buzzer alarm, mounting options, to name a few. In summary, tower lights have the advantage when it comes to seeing the status of a machine or process. These lights, placed on top of the machine, can be seen from across the shop floor to alert personnel of a machine status or an issue. Seemingly simple, tower lights remain as a sig significant component of automation and machine installations worldwide. When selecting and installing tower lights, keep important factors in mind, such as the tower light environment, component materials, installation location, and other factors. Contact C3 Controls 
or visit our website for your tower light needs. Well, that's it for this video. We here at C3 Controls hope the information provided in this video was helpful. To download the companion white paper and to find other white papers, go to c3controls.com slash blog. Thank you for watching and have a great day from C3 Controls. Thank you.